Hello, fancy seeing you here. How are you? Long time no see, even though it's been like a week. Today, I present to you my top five thrifted finds to date. If you are new to my channel, then Hun, you got some catching up to do. Here on this channel, I talk about everything vintage, thrifted, secondhand, and just my general love of things that are over the age of 50 years old. I have a shopping addiction, that's a side note. So if you are interested in this kind of thing as well, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. Come and join the family. We always, always advocate new members. I make videos pretty much every week, give or take a few months. So today, all of the items that I'm about to show you have been acquired over many, many years of thrifting. We've got a little bit of a range of items. The majority of them are clothing. The majority of them are coats. Oh man. So the first vintage item that I'm gonna show you today actually was the catalyst into all of this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've written a blog post about this jacket um, and about how it kind of sparked a fire within me for vintage clothing and it is this military dinner jacket. Now there is quite a lovely story behind this. I think I was probably around 16 and my parents and I went out one weekend to Bridge North which is a lovely village near where I live and it just so happened that on the Saturday that we went there there was also a vintage fair happening in the town hall and it was completely by chance that we walked walked past and thought, oh, let's go in and have a look. And there, my friends, it began. <laughs> we did a full circle and right at the back, I spotted this. It was on a rail with a few other jackets, um, but this one stood out to me straight away. It was the gold, it was the cropped, it was the structure. Everything about it was just calling my name. From memory, I believe this was about £50. Um, I think it was originally 80 and my dad managed to haggle it down. I remember I used to wear this all the time in sixth form. It was like my staple jacket in year 12 and 13. I used to wear it with like victory rolls. Wow, I was not very subtle. I'm still not. I have added some reproduction medals on here as well. I do have some true vintage medals, but they're very heavy. And the thought of potentially losing them is enough to just make me not want to put them on there. But it's in beautiful condition. There is hardly any staining on the inside. If you did want to read a little bit more about this jacket and how my love of vintage and antiques first started, then I have written a blog post about it, which I'll pop in the description below. So next up, it's another jacket kind of. I don't think I've ever featured this in a video, which is really exciting because I've had it for around two years. And I got this from the Malvern Antique and Flea Market, the first time I ever went. It is this absolutely beautiful red kimono. Unfortunately, I really don't know a lot about this. It looks like the tag has been cut out, which is such a shame because that's how I usually gain the most knowledge from the tag. When I initially bought it, I really thought about wearing it as outerwear, so out and about, rather than just a dressing gown because I do already have a silky night robe that I do wear. Um, this is a heavier weight, so it's still really nice as a dressing gown, but I haven't had the opportunity to wear it out yet. It would have to be an outfit where this takes the main stage. Um, also the idea of belting it I quite like as well so we'll have to see what happens there it either will work or it won't but either way I'm really happy to have it in my collection next up are something that if you are up to date with my videos then you'll definitely recognize and they are these horse bit loafers the most fab thing about these are the fact that they're Russell and Bromley yes the even better thing about this is they cost me six pounds six pounds say it louder for the people at the back I absolutely adore horse bit loafers. They're so timeless, so stylish, and I've worn these a lot. You're near me, honey. The fact that they are Russell and Bromley really indicates the quality. Leather's been looked after, and it's the kind of shoe that can be resold as well. And in a seven? Usually these kind of shoes are in small sizes, like a five. Quite clearly, the thrifting gods were shining down on me that day. <laughs> So the next item is something that I didn't actually thrift myself, but it's definitely one of my all time favorite vintage pieces, mostly because of the sentimental value that it has attached to it. It is this absolutely beautiful antique cameo of the Three Graces. 
simply because this has such a special place in my heart, probably more than any of the other pieces that I own, um, because this actually belonged to my nan, and she passed it on to me this Christmas, which was the biggest and most amazing Christmas present I could have ever asked for. I remember when I was little, I used to always look through her jewelry and kind of be in awe at how much beautiful stuff she had. And especially once I started getting into vintage, I really appreciated the beauty of this. And it was definitely that item that signified my nan for me. She'd often wear it on her collar. Betty, she's a style queen. All I know about this is that my nan bought it many, many moons ago, um, I'd assume secondhand. And when she gave it to me, it's safe to say, I bawled my eyes out. Lastly, it's gonna be hard to follow that. This is one of my most worn ever vintage finds. I wear this probably like two to three times a week, if not more. And again, I'm not sure if I've shown you this either, but I've had this for two years as well. I've had it the same amount of time as I've had my kimono. And it is this vintage Burberry trench coat. This was such a a find. It was the first time that we'd ever been to Malvern Flea Market and I came away with literally about five bags of stuff <laughs> and one of the bags was stuffed with this beauty. I don't know what year it's from but I'd imagine it's probably from the 80s um, or earlier. It is a male design so it's not double breasted. It's got the single row of buttons all the way down with the small collar up here. It's definitely oversized. It's quite large on the shoulders but it's something that I love because I can wear whatever I want underneath it and if I want to winch it in with the belt I can. Something I love about this as well are the cuffs and um, they have two little buttons so you can kind of tighten them um, and when you wear it it looks very stylized because you've got a tight cuff and a baggy sleeve almost gives that balloon sleeve effect. Obviously the incredible Burberry lining this was <sighs> it's just one of those pieces that is absolutely timeless. I will wear this until I'm in the grave. So that is everything. Thank you guys for watching. If you do want to stay up to date with what I'm up to, then please do follow my Instagram account at The Vanity Case. Any video ideas for next week, as usual, pop them down below. I think next week's is gonna be a shoe collection. That's what the poll said anyway. So if you are interested in taking a look at my shoe bookcase, which I'm staring at right now, yeah, it's a bookcase. Then please do stick around and keep an eye out for that one next week. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Bye.